Okay, have we seen anything as bad as this? There's more DNA on there than there is in a Dalek. It's been living on a boat for at least 15 years. Work, let's see. is going to take some time. Here we go though. Oh, do you have him DH eighty nine? about 1938 I think still going strong anyway back to the muscle in hand this is filthy you're not surprised it's actually owned by a drummer one good thing there's quite a bit of frets left living in slightly damp conditions we can see the uh, bindings starting to come away from the fingerboard or fretboard I say because it has these fretty type stuff my god just cleaning it up we need a biohazard suit that's why I'm doing it outside Okay, if anyone can beat this, please reply with a video on your own. I'm talking of uh, videos, if you do like this, please subscribe. Things will only get worse. This is absolutely D with a capital D, scust, with a capital scust, ing. Luckily I've got some machine heads that will fit this, at the very least, they're going to get a bloody good clean up. We'll leave that work till later. couple of things I hadn't spotted until just now but hopefully at least that will fit in and work the transducer type arrangement on the saddle seems to be all there but this is a major problem But nothing for a hammer for wouldn't actually sort out. The machine head seemed to come off uh, reasonably easily, but by crikey. Problem so far. I have never seen that before. It comes off easy enough. <sighs> Shiver my timbers. Well now everything's off that can be taken off. But I do think this time it doesn't need just a little bit of cleaner. Because I think at that point you'll just be rubbing dirt onto dirt into 
the paintwork and maybe into the wood. Even worse there now, you can actually see all the scum. Might be a bit unconventional and maybe a no-no to many people. I'm going to just start off with some warm water. As you can see, I've actually got somewhere with the cleaning. It's taken a good while. Yes, there is black under that black grime. The fretboard, oh my goodness me. Now that is the gunk that came off it. As you know, my little trick of using uh, water, some warm water and toothbrush. That is what the water looks like now. Ah, dig, good job it's not my club. Now we have some big problems, or well, big-ish problems. The binding has come away. Now a lot of that I, do, I believe is down to actually shrinkage in the fretboard. So obviously there's still a few bits and pieces to come niggle out here, but uh, hey, that'll, we'll come to that when we come to it. So, I'll put some of the wonderful linseed oil on there to try to expand the wood and give it a bit of life. We'll take it from there. And a few dabs of a uh, super glue on that. Now, there we go. Well, that's it for this a tiny little bit. But, hmm. This is obviously the biggest worry. This, um, not so much, because that's a kind of fill it in and uh, paint it over to a certain extent and spray. The binding is still intact around here, but as one can see, it's all been pushed in here and to kind of pull this back or bash it through from the inside of the body could mean losing a lot of this. Your views, ways and means of doing this will be greatly appreciated. One thing I am thinking of is take it very slowly from the inside with a knocking stick. It's a little bit uh, too far away for me to reach. If we've been on the sides, uh, up near the sound hole, yes, we could have done it by now. But if that doesn't work, I'm thinking of drilling in here, then slowly pulling forward. Now, that could obviously take away some of this, then putting a cleat on the, uh, on the inside and taking it from there. But I have no idea how to fix this. I've had a look, oh, look round. Yes, I know how to do, uh, there's, it, it say there's a crack there or something, that's fine. Yeah, he's, he's just going to bump and ship, check out some, some very good videos on this uh, wonderful website. Saying up, hello Randy mate, hope you're drinking beer. I'm not, because it's too bloody hot. Yes, it's, it's well into the 90s here. But hey, suggestions on how to do that. Or we could, of course, all learn together. That's it for now.